Well, hello, adventurers, and welcome back to another exciting adventure today. We are in Snow Canyon State Park in southwestern Utah. Just a gorgeous place. We've been doing some camp hosting here for the past month, and just a really beautiful place. We really enjoy this the scenery here and the geology. And we're gonna go explore some lava tubes today. We're gonna basically show you today exactly what this park is made up of and some of the history behind it. Oh, I love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the busy time of year. October uh, is always uh, going to be busy in this this area of the U.S. because it's starting to cool down a little bit. Not so darn hot. Super windy though. What we have here is a canyon of Navajo sandstone. Absolutely beautiful. You'll notice some of the sandstone is white and that is uh, sandstone that lacks iron oxide. And as you come down the canyon here, you can see all the red rocks, absolutely gorgeous. This was home of three major volcanic eruptions. And what we have around us right here is this is actually volcanic rock. Wow. It's amazing. That goes way down there. What a cool place here. Something I couldn't tell you from uh, that last little clip was that those are lava tubes. And that's how a lot of the lava was transported into this valley through those tubes, very deep. Uh, some of them, the one that I showed you was probably 30 foot deep and you really couldn't see the bottom it was all sorts of really jagged rocks and uh, you could climb down in there but I'm not going to do that with G on my back but, but you can see some of the, the lava flow it just kind of flowed down this valley right here <clears throat> very very interesting out in front of us here is a very interesting feature those are petrified dunes so basically, uh, wind and water transported all this uh, sand uh, through this valley and over many, many years, these rocks or these, uh, these dunes basically cemented and now they are petrified sand dunes. Very interesting and, I, and actually I'm standing on one right now. Get a close up of this Navajo sandstone very fascinating stuff just gorgeous stuff very grippy uh, as long as you're wearing the right footwear you won't have any issue if you're climbing on these rocks and the views just absolutely spectacular uh, you're able to scramble along some of these rocks here and you can, I don't know if you can actually see, there's a bunch of people right at the top of those ones. And as you can imagine, this park sees quite a few injuries uh, resulting from falling off some of these rocks. There are areas for all skill levels. You have kids, they can climb on some of these rocks that are a little bit lower and a little easier to climb on. So lots of fun for the whole family. Everywhere you look, just amazing views. A lot of climbing opportunities. I believe there's uh, somewhere around 170 climbing routes throughout the park. And something to consider whenever you are visiting this park, uh, and really anywhere in the southwest, is people get themselves into trouble not bringing enough water. What they suggest is basically a liter of water per person. And if you're going to take a longer trip, just plan accordingly. It is very, very dry out here. You can get dehydrated in a hurry. Make sure you're always drinking water, even if you don't feel thirsty. 
because this environment just kind of sucks the moisture right out of you. So we're only about 20 miles away from Zion. Um, it's not that far, but one thing you get here that you don't get in Zion, other than the lava flows, are a lot less people. Zion being a national park, it's just been really crazy. And being only 20 miles away from that park, we've decided that we, um, we're not gonna be going to it when we're in this area because of how crazy these parks are. They have just gotten out of control. And we went to the North Rim of the Grand Canyon the other day and there was no parking. It's really hard sometimes to justify paying that much money and not even being able to park anywhere to see anything. So just something to consider. You know, state parks are one of those little gems, one of those local gems that we always try to find the best ones. And occasionally we'll go to national parks, but it's so much better whenever there's not crowds of people. Ooh. See those little folks up there. Some good climbing routes up here. Yeah. Another one of the cool parts of this park is some of the original explorers in this area wrote their names up in kind of a little alcove um, just to be remembered by something. And it was written in axle grease back in the late 1800s. And so that's something we're gonna go check out here. A little bit of a climb up there, but not as high up as those guys. We're just going right up into that little guy. Pretty cool. Hey you. How are you doing? Up we go. <laughs> Some cool arches through here, like this. Just small guys. Cheech. <clears throat> Whew. All right, so this is about as far as I'll go. It's pretty darn steep. There you go. 1880s. Pretty cool. Good morning. We're at the same park, just a different area, different day. Uh, we came out early this morning for a nice little hike up the cinder cone. If we can find the trail. So this cinder cone is what is responsible for all of the lava flow uh, in and around this park. Pardon the car noise, we're working our way off the road. And uh, it's a pretty big one. We can hike up it. And we wanted to see kind of uh, where the origins of uh, all the lava were. And uh, yeah, check out a, a volcano. There are also a couple uh, other volcanoes a little bit further to the north of us. Uh, this one was one of the ones, like I said, that was most responsible for this lava flow. And if you can see right over the ridge there, you can see uh, part of the park. Super beautiful, especially at sunrise. All right, let's hike on up here and see what's cooking. But still, there's a lot of loose uh, loose lava rock that you have to be careful for. Um, boots and hiking poles are a must for sure. Hey, this is that stuff that uh, they, the uh, Native American Indians would chew for uh, hydration and medicinal purposes, I think. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Might want to stay away from the fence though. I think these dangerous animals are invisible. <sighs> wow. <sighs> I 
Well, I think we're about halfway up here and just check out this view. There's the canyon where it starts right up there near Amphitheater Rocks. It goes all the way down through. Absolutely beautiful. Keeps getting better and better. Whoa. We're here. We're here. We made it. Whew. That was a bit of a little bit of a hike up there. Oh, you oh we can walk around the rim. Oh yeah, I heard I knew that. Little town of Diamond Valley. And actually there's another cinder cone out in front of us. Good. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> This is a good way to spend our, our anniversary morning, huh? Yep, <laughs> It is our four year anniversary. I, uh, we have done so many things in this four years. Um, it's just been really crazy and I have the best partner to do it with, so. Pretty amazing. I just keep thinking like, it, it looks so, it's so much bigger than it looks from down at the parking area. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So you have it. That's uh, that is the volcano that has been responsible for a lot of the cool things I've showed you so far. Now we're just gonna work our way down off of it. There's definitely there's definitely a lot more cool things to show you in this park, so we're not done yet. You've seen quite a bit of Snow Canyon so far learned about some of the geology and some of the history super awesome place we're actually outside of the park right now and we're going to be hiking to an overlook where i can show you the whole park uh the whole canyon it's supposedly really really awesome views so we're just gonna do a little hike in here see what kind of wildlife we see and uh yeah maybe enjoy a good view Boy, that fresh air feels real good in the lungs. My goodness, Do they have us going up a creek bed or what? This is crazy. Literally super easy on the other side of that fence. But no, gotta have all the rocks. Wilderness boundary. Interesting. Not wilderness. 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 Well, that's where all the good stuff happens. Let's do it. Oh, I like this trail. I've got some ravens. Hello, friends. Always make friends with ravens or crows in the woods. You never know, they might just come to your rescue or not eat you. Ooh, this is a good hunting spot. You can see all around out here. Whew. Some good views. But those aren't the views we're looking for. Let's keep going. It's interesting, this sand has turned from red to white, back to red, and then back to white. This is the Navajo sandstone. And the white sand basically just lacks iron oxide. There you go. It's pretty cool to see the transition in sands too. Not just the rocks. This 
Somebody's a little tired back here. Are you tired, Jeej? Yep, I hear some snores. Oh my goodness. What? This is amazing. Oh my gosh, and I can see, I can see Zion National Park off in the distance. Here we go. Holy smokes. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that, Jeej. Isn't that pretty? Hey, come here. Come here. You can see? You can see out there? Way down there in those red rocks, that's where home is. Look, out there is a volcano. So here you go. This is Snow Canyon. Absolutely beautiful sight. We're actually standing outside of the park right now in a wilderness area. And you can see a little road that leads all the way down there. And, and yes, our home is down there. So we enjoyed that beautiful hike up here. It is now time to go all the way back. So there you have it. That is Snow Canyon State Park. It's an absolutely wonderful place, breathtaking views, not too busy, and just a nice little local gem. I highly recommend it for sure. Great little campground too. If you're moving through the area and you need somewhere to stop, great stop here. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It was really fun showing you where I've lived for the past month and what all we've done. You know, that beautiful cinder cone that you saw and some of the lava fields. There's so much awesome history here. I would definitely recommend it. Stop by if you get a chance. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.